Starting over. Welcome to the CS Roundup with Russell and Jan podcast, a production of Success League Radio. This podcast focuses on interesting topics trending in customer success each week and includes our takes on each. Welcome to the podcast. I'm Russell Bourne. And I'm Jan Young. We are the co-hosts of CS Roundup with Russell and Jan. We also both work for the Success League, a boutique customer success consulting and training firm based in San Francisco. This is our first episode, and Jan and I have spent some time figuring out what we want to talk about. And Jan, do you want to introduce this week's topic? Sure, yeah. Well, um, we were thinking about how one big theme of this past year has, ever since the pandemic, has been the great resignation or the great reshuffle. But then if you take a look at 2022, the big news is that tech has uh, done some massive layoffs up to 24,000 people now up through June in our first two quarters have been laid off. So the question is, is the great reshuffle still still happening? Is it still on? What do you think, Russell? Okay, I have to answer this question from an overall point of view and also from a customer success point of view. I think overall it is over. I think that people are scared of a recession coming up and so they're clinging on to their uh, their jobs and their income and their stability. Huh. I think that enough people resigned from jobs they were dissatisfied with during the pandemic and I hope that more people are in jobs that fulfill them that they want to cling on to. In customer success though, I think one of the things we learned from 2020 is that when times are tough, companies have to double down on customer success because they're not going to acquire new customers and they have to protect what they have. And I think that that means the job market for customer success is still in decent shape. And anecdotally, if I look at my LinkedIn feed, I still see people making posts about new positions they've gotten, which is a great sign. Yeah, I mean, I definitely see, you know, in my LinkedIn feed, every day, more people announcing that they have either a job where they've transitioned into CS or that they're switching jobs. So in that respect, I mean, in terms of the reshuffle, the reshuffle is, it signifies that people want to go somewhere where the grass is greener. I think that's still happening, actually. I think that um, what people are doing, though, is they're getting very, well, they were getting choosy anyway. That's why they were doing the reshuffle, right? Because right. it felt like I'm not being treated the way I should be here. I want to go and get some respect and maybe some more pay and maybe a better work-life balance, you know, and you never really know what it is until you get there. But I talked to a lot of people who in the interview process will ascertain that, you know, that it's too crazy at a place that either they don't have their act together or that they're, um, they don't have work-life balance or something, and they'll drop out of the interview process. I don't get the sense yet. I'm not hearing from anybody that they're desperate yet. I, you know, which is like, I'll take any job, you know? And if you take a look, I mean, unemployment is still really low, you know? It's, it's historically low, you know? So, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if, I don't know how to answer it. It seems like it might still be going on. I'm with you. And I love what you say about people dropping out of the interview process yeah. because candidates are now really finely tuned into what is my work-life balance going to be? I'll say I, it seems to me like it's not pay. It seems to me like people, because of the pandemic, really considered what's important and what's important is time and, and the amount of time that you have to do things that you want to do outside of work which is what work-life balance is all about. I think people want to get paid too, though. Like, you know, for too long, employers have had the the balance, you know, in their favor. And mm -hmm. and I, I, I see people increasing their pay as they make the jump, because when you're with the employer, they never think to increase your pay for some reason. It's like, sure. oh, 3%. It's like, meanwhile, you can get a jump by, you know, 10 or 20 K by going to another place, you know, it's just not it's classic. 
Yeah. Right? In order to get a raise or get promoted, you have to go somewhere else. That's just, well, but now it's really happening and companies have to react to that. Right. I mean, as long as it's just, that's how the system works, people are going to jump. They have to. You owe it to yourself to. I, I was just talking to somebody yesterday who literally the company is always telling her how important she is and, and all of these great things that she's doing and blah, 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 blah. They won't let her take vacation because she's too important. What? They won't give her a raise, even though she's so important. They haven't given her a promotion because what she's doing exactly right now, they just want her to keep doing that. And then they want to give her more. I'm just like, get out, <laughs> get out now. <laughs> you know, it's ridiculous. She'll be taking the ultimate vacation soon. They'll have to fill out <laughs> gaps. Probably. I hope so for her sake. Okay, so the verdict is in. Great reshuffle. I think still happening. Absolutely in CS, it's still happening. Okay, so now we're going to introduce a couple of features that we're going to have in most of our episodes, and we're going to have a pet peeve of the week, and then something that gives you hope of the week. And this is unscripted. So we're we're going to we're going to do one pet peeve between the two of us, and one of us is going to bring it to the table. Do you have one? It's always templates. Oh my God. Whenever I see somebody asking for templates, I'm like, no, no, you don't need a template. You need, you, you need a framework. You need maybe an approach. You might want to see how other people are, are doing things so you can kind of react off of it, but just don't ask for a template, ask for samples because in every, I mean, every, every customer base, every product is a snowflake, you know, it's like, you need to apply a framework to the situation you're in now, because whatever you're trying to build, whether it's a customer journey or playbooks or, you know, something else, it's going to be different at the next place you go. You're not going to use the exact same playbooks or whatever. It's always different. That's always my pet peeve. But since this is our first episode, it's my pet peeve of the week. We'll say that what they, I'm with you. The answer in customer success is usually it depends. So what you said is it you need a template on how to make a template and then you can make a template for everything. Yeah. Well, my template is step one blank, step two blank, step three blank, fill in the blanks. <laughs> I like that. All right. What gives you hope? Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it in house for this because at the success league, we run public training courses for customer success individual contributors, and then a different one for customer success leaders. And our enrollment and our attendance has been as high as it's ever been to the point where I think we might have to expand the number of sessions that we have so that we can keep our class size down. And going back to the great reshuffling, when people invest in training, whether they're doing it personally themselves or when their companies are sponsoring it, that shows that somebody's investing in customer success. And that tells me that our part of the industry is strong. So that gives me great hope. Yeah, definitely. I I love when I see people invest in their career, invest in their future, invest in themselves. And uh, yeah, I see that happening quite a bit. So I would I would also share that hope with you. All right. Well, I think that's a wrap on episode one. All right. We want to tell you that the CS Roundup with Russell and Jan is a part of Success League Radio, a podcast channel focused on customer success. And we encourage you to check out the other shows on our channel. Innovations in Leadership features in-depth interviews with CS leaders, Reading for Success reviews CS books and articles, and CS Essentials with Gainsight covers how to get your CS program up and running. Uh, and if you enjoy our shows, I'd like to ask you a favor share our show on social media help us get the word out to the cs community we want to continue to produce great pro uh, content and to do that we need the support of our amazing customer success colleagues this podcast is a production of success league radio to learn more about the success league's consulting and training offerings please visit our website thesuccessleague.io for more great customer success content follow the success league on linkedin or at TSL customers on Twitter. 
You can subscribe to Success League Radio on Apple, Google, Amazon, or anywhere else you get your podcasts. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us next time. Great. Thanks.